Hello everyone, this is Lola from afropotlock.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the native jollof rice. Actually, this recipe has some other names that is associated with it. Growing up, I'm more familiar with the palm oil rice. But for the sake of today's tutorials, I'm going to be calling it the native jollof rice. So before we get started with the recipe, I'm just going to run through the list of the ingredients I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using some smoked fish or dry fish, whichever one you like, one large onion, some salt to taste, some leafy vegetables of your choice, depending on what you have at hand and what your preferences are, a little bit of bouillon powder. If you don't have that, feel free to use seasoning cube. This is optional. If you don't want to use it, you can skip it. I have blended peppers here and it's a combination of peppers, tomatoes and onion, some prawns, ground crayfish, cow skin which we know as pomo and I've diced this into bite sizes, locust bean, very important for this recipe, of course I'm going to be using rice, some palm oil and some chicken stock and water. And by the way, you can find the detailed measurements of this recipe at afropotlock.com. The first thing I'm going to do is to preheat some palm oil. And I'm just going to heat up this palm oil until it's very hot, but I'm not going to bleach it. Once the oil is hot, I'm going to be adding the diced onion. And I'm going to be leaving this to cook until the onion becomes a little soft. At this point, I'm now going to be adding the locust bean. I'll also stir that in and I'll leave it to cook for a couple of seconds so that the locust bean can release its flavors inside the oil. Now I'm going to be adding the blended pepper. So basically what we are doing right now is frying the sauce and we are going to fry this until the water is reduced. And it's also very important to keep on stirring this sauce over and over again in between the cooking process. This is going to prevent the sauce from burning. So right now the sauce is well fried and as you can see the oil is floating on top of the sauce. And that is what we want. So now I'm just going to be adding some salt to taste. A little bit of bouillon seasoning. If you have seasoning cube, you can use that as well. I'll also be adding my ground crayfish and the prawns. Give this a good stir once again so that all these ingredients can be well combined. You can adjust the seasoning at this point if there's a need to. Right now this is okay for me and I'm just going to be adding some chicken stock and water. I'll also be adding the dry fish at this point. Together with the diced cow skin. So once you are done stirring this, just cover it up and allow the whole thing to come to a rolling boil. As you can see, this has come to a rolling boil and I'm just going to be stirring in the rice at this point. Now cover this up and allow it to cook until it's done. And don't forget to check the water level at intervals to make sure that the rice doesn't get burnt. Once this rice comes to a rolling boil, I'm going to be reducing the heat immediately to medium low and this is going to prevent the rice from burning and it will also help to cook the rice evenly. It's now time to check it. So this is done. What I'm going to be doing right now is just to add a little bit of palm oil to give it more color and I'll also be adding my leafy vegetables. Today I choose to use spinach but you can use ugu, scent leaves, or kale, or any leafy green you have at hand. So this is the final stirring of the rice. I'm going to be stirring this so that the leafy greens and the palm oil I added to this can be well distributed. 
Also, some seasoning might have settled down during the cooking process. We also have to stir very well to make sure everything is well combined. So once that is done, I'm going to just cover this up once again and I'll leave it to simmer on a very low heat for about 2-3 to three minutes. And there we have it, it's all done. This is how I make my own native jollof rice. The detailed ingredients for today's recipe can be found at afropotluck.com. If you like this recipe, don't forget to leave a thumbs up for me and I'll also like to hear back from you in the comment section down below. Until next time, I'll talk to you shortly. Enjoy.